To say that Chief Washakie is Wyoming's most prominent native son is true on so many levels. He was a warrior, statesman, and charismatic leader of the Shoshone. To honor him, the state legislature appropriated $150,000 for a 24-foot statue created by sculptor Dave McGarry, a former Cody boy. This mini-documentary is a record of that statue's unveiling ceremony. This one is um, very special and dear to my heart because of my relationship with the Washakie family. So it's been a, a great project ever since I did the, uh, uh, the piece for Washington, D.C. And that was um, uh, such a great experience for everybody involved. The family asked me if I would do something that would depict the uh, Battle of Two Hearts. And so this is what we came up with after I spent a lot of time with the Washakie family and James and his mom, Zadora. And, and uh, they told me all about the battle and, and kind of the insight and the family insight on the battle and how it took place and then guided me along to make sure that uh, it was done properly. Once the spirit of the peace is, is achieved and that was done through the Washiki family, then it becomes a technical part of the sculpting process. And the work that I like to do is, is it has a lot of textures. It, it's, it's very realistic, um, very detailed, and the color process is, is unique to my work. And I just think it brings the piece out more, brings it more to life. And this whole project here has been about a two year project. So, and it's cast in, in numerous pieces and um, welded together over a stainless steel structure for support and strength. And um, it's just, it's a tremendous amount of work that goes into a piece of this scale, first of all. And then with the amount of detail that it has, it's been, uh, 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 a challenge, but, it, but it's been a fun challenge. I got my formal training in Italy. I studied over there for a couple of years and um, uh, to learn the art of casting bronze and anatomy and all of that, so I'm very grateful for that experience. Well, I think I'm very fortunate with, with having been blessed with a talent. And, I, and I'm also very, very um, fortunate to having been around a lot of people like Harry Jackson and Vic Larson in and cultures, Native American cultures that, that inspire you and, and other artists that, that I admire their work, exposed to different artists in museums around the world that I've gone to. I, I think that's really important. Inspiration is, is an, obviously a very important part of an, of an artist, but you, you also have that flame of, of creativity inside of you that uh, kind of drives you, and you need to find the fuel for that. And in this case, um, the fuel for me has really been with the Native American culture. I've become so very fortunate to, um, to get to be a part of their culture and, uh, and really understand them from the inside out because I've been invited to be you know, a part of their, their families. And you know, I was adopted into the Red Elk family and um, I've had tremendous um, experiences and, and uh, uh, memories with the Washakie family over this project and the one for Washington, D.C. So those are the, are the relationships and, the, and the, the, the things that happen with me that inspire me to do the type of work that I do. And I think I've just perfected, and, and artists are always trying to perfect their trade and their skills and then sharpen their skills, but this is my 27th year I've been doing this now. And I've, um, uh, I think you just try to, to do better each time you do a new piece and, and, and you have to push yourself to try to better yourself and, and, and I'm passionate about that as well. And now I hope that when they see this, they may want to read a little bit more about him or they may want to do a, a Google search about him and, and understand him a little bit more because he was a tremendous um, uh, 
part of, of Wyoming history, and I think it's, uh, it's, it's perfect to have him here at the university as, a, as an educational tool. And his desire was, as it says on the plaque, to use your, 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 your intelligence and your brain as a weapon. So it's perfect to have him here at the university. I was truly honored to express myself and to express what our grandfather means to me. Like I said before, to me he represents so many great things. He represents courage, bravery, wisdom, prosperity, and the spiritual strength that held our people together during his reign, which was over 50 years, the Eastern Shoshone tribe in central Wyoming. Even though he reigned and ruled at that time for the Eastern Shoshone people and the related bands, Shoshone Bannock and some of the neighboring tribes, his legacy continues and will continue forever. As you know, the Washakie Foundation is a scholarship project that will assist students in one of his goals and his aspirations to give his people an education. So his legacy continues and will continue for all time and memorial as his descendants truly believe. It's very important to give back. That's a very important part of their culture. And so Molly and I have um, uh, done that in quite a few instances. We're, we're, we, we did it with um, uh, the Washakie, Chief Washakie that went to Washington, D.C. Uh, percentages of each sale of that piece went into a scholarship fund or an endowment for students to go to school at UW. Uh, and that worked out so well that we decided we wanted to do the same thing with the Battle of Two Hearts uh, proceeds as well. We walked all around the campus to uh, look at different locations where we thought would be the perfect spot. And the minute I saw this location, I mean, it's obviously the Washiki Center, but this location here is, is ideal because it's on a, um, obviously on Grand Avenue. A lot of people will see it. It's in front of the Washiki Center. And I love the fact that the glass in the back is gonna be like a mirror and it's gonna reflect the backside of the piece. So, so both, cause sculpture's three dimensional. You need to be able to see it from all directions. So it'll have a great view from inside the cafeteria. It'll have a great view from outside and it'll be reflected in the, um, in the center, the, the backside of it. So I think it's gonna be just perfect for it. Everybody's pleased and the, the Washakie family's pleased. Everybody here at the university's pleased with the choice. So I think it'll work out very well. I grew up in Cody on a, on a cattle ranch up South Fort. And um, it's uh, just a, uh, an honor and a great privilege to be able to come back to the state and to be able to, to leave something here as, as a, a piece of my work and that my, my daughters, daughters, daughters will be able to see. So I'm, I'm very pleased with that. It's a, it's a great project.